And welcome back to Shit They Don't Tell You. I'm Steve Green. I'm Nikki Limo. And today we're indeed doing indeed. Am I the Asshole? One of our yes. favorite things to do where we give you our honest takes on situations that real people are going through. Yeah. And today, am I the asshole for not wanting my autistic sister to come to my birthday party? Ooh. Shouldn't you be an asshole just by the title? Yes. Right. So here we go. But, maybe you know, autistic people are not, um, uh, what is it called, excused from being assholes. So here we go. Okay. Hi, 15 female. I'm turning 16 soon. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. This is... Do sale four nine seventy. Okay. I have a stepsister, sixteen Vima, who is autistic. She's fairly high functioning, but very spoiled. Throws tantrums whenever she doesn't get what she wants. When I was little, she would always ruin my birthday parties, so I stopped having parties with my mom's family. I usually have parties with just my dad's family and my friends. This year, I'm turning sixteen, having a bigger party, which my dad is mostly paying for, but I'm inviting my mom, stepdad, stepbrother, and half siblings. 13 male, 11 female. I'm having a party with about 90 people. That's a big party. That's a lot. That's a wedding. Yeah. (laughs) And over the weekend, my grandma is going to take me and some of my friends and their cousins to their cabin in the mountains. This is like a whole freaking thing thing. for a birthday. It's a honeymoon uh, attached to the wedding. Okay. Um, I do not want my stepsister to come to the party or to the cabin. I know my stepsister is going to ruin it. She gets jealous whenever I get anything, and my dad is planning to give me my dream car at the party, so I know she's going to have a tantrum. Who's the spoiled one here? (laughs) Dude, you're having the best fucking week of your life. Yeah. She always steals the attention from me, and I just don't want her there. I am not inviting her to the cabin either, because just for my cousins on my dad's side and my friends, I'm not that close to my stepsister. Besides, we're going to hike, boat, ride horses... And, and do other outdoor events I know my sister can't handle. She's going to start crying if we try to go in the water and she can't walk farther than half a mile without getting tired. Yesterday, my stepsister told me she's really excited for my party because it's at the zoo and she loves it there and has never stayed at a cabin before. I told her that she's not invited. <laughs> and she started crying and ran to her room. My mom called me an uncaring brat for not inviting her and telling her so bluntly. She said that her and my stepdad aren't coming either. If she's not invited, I don't think I'm the asshole because it's my party and I don't want her to ruin it. Wow. She is the asshole. Yeah. (laughs) Damn. Okay. If this was like, hey, my party is like, I'm going to a bowling alley. Yeah. And like. It's a small dinner. It's a small thing. With five people. And so she's like, yeah. And then Jeff Bezos is coming. He's going to come give me a high five in his limousine on on his way out, out of town. Like you're getting your dream life handed to you. And your stepsister can't be there to just watch it all happen. Yeah. Just watch you She's get like, handed. I'm excited to go to the zoo and I've never been to a cabin. She's like, it's like, Santa's coming to get me and we're going to go ride around in his sleigh. Yeah. And I was like, no, nah, I, I told my sister she can't go. Yeah. She's a big Santa believer. And it was right after the sister's like, I'm so excited. I've never, I've never gone to a cabin. So I, I, yeah, it seems so cute. And the stuff that she says she doesn't like, like the hiking part, like you can just tell her, like I don't think you'll like this part. Like you can sit this one out. I don't know. It yeah. sounds like the the one the op is the one OP's that's that's jealous and spoiled and is like projecting. Yeah, I don't get it. So like, there's they're saying like like the op saying. When I was little, they they would ruin my birthday parties, so I stopped having parties. But there's not a lot of like a lot of specifics. Yeah, there. there's no specifics. Like they'd ruin my parties. Like, so when you were younger and she was younger mm-hmm. and she had to pee or something, she had a tantrum. Like, I don't know. I just don't, you we didn't don't give know. me much context. Yeah. So, but like, see, as always, and look, I have a bias about Reddit because like it's a lot of shut-ins, right? A lot of people who really don't have a lot of interpersonal relationships with a lot of different people. Yeah. And it, look. Yes, is that a stereotype? Yes. But it tends to be the way that people lean as far as their opinion goes. So like the first person says, as an autistic person myself, let me be the first to say you're not the asshole. And I'm like, mm. they say your birthday party's about you, not someone else. What? But like we got it, dude. Yeah. Like the grandma's taking on our cabin. Yeah, this it's is a very lot. about her. It's definitely an event yeah. happening. This yeah. is like gone beyond a birthday party. Yeah. And hey, you know what? And again, 
I try to listen to maybe intentions. Maybe this person has had their birthday railroaded so many times that everyone's like, we got to compensate really big time and really make this birthday like, like hammer home that it's their well, birthday. if that were true, then the mom and dad and everyone wouldn't be so mad about it. That's what I mean. I, I just think there would be more context about what the hell they did to mess up your birthday. Yeah. But I'm not getting any of that. And also just like, what more do you need? Like, <laughs> how much more attention do you need? Like, what could your sister possibly do? Yeah. I mean, like, just don't take her on the hiking part because she doesn't hike or swim or horse, horse fair, ride. Fair, fair. But like everything else, like sh- let her fucking chill in a cabin. She sounds like she just wants to like chill in the cabin and look at the walls. Yeah. I, I don't really, know. um, but like I said, also, how how could you let someone like just them, their emotions ruins your day? Like, I just think that there's, she's projecting too much. She's assuming a lot and she's project, projecting too much. Okay. A little bit of context now. Are you ready? Okay. So somebody asks, Hey, cause a lot of people are saying you're not the asshole. It's your birthday or whatever. I'm like, dude, whatever. But someone says, what does she do to ruin your parties? And then they say this, and now I'm starting to think it's maybe a creative writing seminar. Okay. She blows and spits all over the cake when I'm trying to blow out the candles, and she cries and screams when I get a present she likes. That's it? <sighs> yeah, I guess. Wow. Okay. That's it? I don't think it's a creative writing. I mean, it would have been more creative than that. It just it seems generic. Like, it seems like a, it's a goof. Again. No, it seems like something you got traumatized with as a kid, and now you just don't want your... No, that was the last time you had a birthday party and so yeah. that's the only reference you have that's L- fair like that's fair look we have autistic people in our life right. and they they did spit all over the cake when they blew candles <laughs> so i mean it's not like made up um it, and, and by the way but wait, this is not just autistic kids like a lot of kids do this that's damn right like but i don't also, know even if the autistic part has to even be in there it doesn't but also the they're not going to be bought the candles. It's not their birthday. What? No, I know. That's what she's saying is that the sister would blow out her candles and spit all over the cake. Okay. She blows and spits all over the cake when I'm trying to blow out the candles. Got yeah, it. exactly. Got it, got it, got it. Like she's trying to participate. Yeah, 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 she yeah, doesn't yeah. get that. It's like not her it's birthday not her. too. But it doesn't sound like she's at a party in very bad. long. So like, okay. So it was the last point of reference when your sister was 10. <laughs> like it just feels like it, wouldn't there be some growth or something? Like you're not giving like benefit of the doubt that there's. I mean, the sister's now 16. Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm nuts. Everyone on Reddit thinks it's like, you're not the asshole, so. Um, I don't think you're nuts. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe we're just maybe not we're in, just... we're not in tune with how big birthday parties are now <laughs> with, the, with, the, with the kids. That's one of my favorite things about this particular topic is a lot of the Redditors are saying, first of all, happy birthday. <laughs> Before they say anything, it's like, Okay. All right. I was fully, by the way, I was fully prepared to defend OP just by the Same. title. Like usually, like Same. yeah, and that's what I said. By the and context, then it just clues. went like it went it's, off the wall, bonkers, it's not bananas, that bad, dude. Am I nuts? No. All right. Also, if this person's been in your life before, like I, saying it to their face like that is so soul crushing and mean. Like I would, yeah, go as- aside to the mom or the dad or whatever and be like, "Hey, like, do you think you could take so and Sarah aside during the horseback riding and this?" But I know she doesn't like hikes. I just don't want her to like, you know, throw a tantrum in the middle of the hike. Like, yeah. say say it to, as an aside, like not. To the person's or like, face, hey, like, you know, when I'm doing the candles, can someone just have her arm around their shoulder and like, yeah, make sure just they like make sure like, she's a couple out. things that could be done. I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know. I think she's basing it off of like when her sister was ten. Exactly. Are the redditors also fourteen, thirteen? I, I, you I never just, you know. know I don't know. You never know. Okay. Um. All right. Next topic. Here we go. Am I the asshole for wearing clothes that wouldn't fit my friend? I, twenty three female, have a friend, twenty four female recently my friend sarah has gained some weight and so she she brought some new clothes i met her this week and she was complaining about how she has tried on a dress and it hadn't fit however she wasn't able to return it as she had waited a day too long i agreed that was very annoying but the dress looked pretty cute and i didn't think it should go to waste so i offered to buy it from her she agreed it was a little big in places but i really liked how it looked and it's probably one of my favorite dresses 
On Friday, Sarah said she was hosting a birthday party for her boyfriend, Sam. Most of the other girls were wearing dresses, so I decided to wear the dress I bought from Sarah, as no one else had seen it yet, and it was cheaper than buying a new dress. Before I left, I took a photo with some of the other girls who were coming. Sarah messaged me asking if I could please not wear that. Turns out she hadn't brought it. She hadn't bought it from the shop. It was actually a gift from Sam, and she didn't want to tell him that it didn't fit. Ooh, that <sighs> throws good, a right? little, yeah, it's that's good. a twist. It's a good one. This dress was much more expensive than she had told me, and had come from a specific designer. At this point, we we're all about to get in my friend's car. And I wasn't about to tell him to wait for me. So I just went and acted like I hadn't seen the message. <gasps> uh. When we got there, Sarah took me aside and told me she wouldn't. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot about this part. When I got there, Sarah took me aside and told me she would give me a lift home to change. I said no. And she told me to leave. At this point, I was annoyed. So it was Sam's birthday, and if he had an issue, he could say so. Later that evening, he complimented the dress and said it looked just like the one he'd, brought, he'd bought Sarah not long ago for their anniversary. At that point, she said she wasn't feeling well and went upstairs. She messaged me this morning, calling me a bitch and an asshole. I feel like I could have been more considerate, maybe. Am I the asshole? Yes, you're the asshole. Holy shit. This is the most I've thought people were the asshole. On, let, me, let me just say this the one, asshole. one thing real quick. Okay. Assuming that your guy's going to know when he clearly didn't is my favorite thing ever. Yeah. Knowing guys, because he's like, well, that's a cool dress. It looks just like the one I got for my chick. Yeah. And like, that is how guys are. Yeah. He's not thinking, that is the dress I got for my chick. Yeah. He's thinking, that looks just like the dress I got. And he's like excited because he thinks he nailed it for his chick. For sure. Just gave me a little context. But now, but now he's going to be like, hey, why don't you wear that dress that I got you ever? Like, I've never seen you wear it. Like, it, it opens this whole can of worms. Fair. Fair. It's it's annoying, and I think that the friend is valid, and I think that even if she wasn't, if it was slightly like overreacting or whatever, like the fact that your friend is expressing to you how like much in turmoil this is making her yeah. is, I think it's really selfish of you to just be like, I don't fuck it, I like the stress, fuck you, like that's it's like a different. It's a lot more detail. It's a lot more nuanced than just like, oh, I'm wearing a dress I bought off her and my friend's like throwing a fit about it. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. like a very special dress that was picked out by her boyfriend for their anniversary. Right. Like it's a very special thing. And then she couldn't fit it because she was too big and she's one insecure, like didn't want to tell him. Yeah, that's a bad news. You know, verse. so one, it's reminding her that she didn't fit into this dress that he bought her. And two, like it, um, like he didn't she didn't tell him that she sold it to her friend and then she gave her friend a deal and this friend is just like do you think this person is like vile who the the uh op it sounds like it how so? do you have no empathy it's so mean do you just really not understand like how someone could feel that way i guess i don't I, I, I just am Because for me, I'm it's perplexed. just like, it's just a dress. No, but it's not just a dress. That it's a bought. dress that, that okay, it'd be like, you got me a dress for my our anniversary, and it's yeah. like a $3,000 dress, let's yeah. say. It's a okay. designer dress. And then I can't fit into it, and I sell it to my friend. And then you've never seen me in it. And then she's wearing it. And, and like, even if you don't notice, yeah. like, I'm just like, that's the dress that he bought me. I'm like, now I'm fucking paranoid the I whole time. Okay. I'm like, I'm like, damn. Also, like, I couldn't fit into that. So that's a little embarrassing right, that I w right. wasn't able to fit into the gift that my boyfriend bought me. And then, like, the whole night, I'm like, I'm thinking about it. He just called it out, said, like, that just seems, that like, looks like the same dress I bought for Sarah. Yeah. I don't know. It just feels, how could you not consider all those factors? I would immediately change the dress. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I, by the way, I appreciate what you're saying. I guess it depends on how close you are to this person. I just feel like it's it's such a, um innocent thing because it's like, hey, I got this dress. It would be innocent if it wasn't for the personal details involved. Yeah, okay. Like I, if it wasn't an anniversary gift from the boyfriend whose birthday it was, if, if it wasn't that, I don't think that this girl would be uh, so up in arms about it. It happens to be a very special dress. Right. Yeah, okay. I get it now. I think it's like a lack of empathy. Yeah, like what about if I if I sold that diamond necklace that you got that you got me oh, yeah. for the my for our first Christmas together and I just like sold it to my friend for fifty bucks. Like yeah, I, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And then she wears it 
I'm like, ooh, I don't want him to know that I sold that. That I'm a scumbag and I sold his yeah, necklace. Yeah, but it'd be like, what if I can't fit the necklace? <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a different story than a necklace because yeah. it's like she can't physically fit in fair, it. Fair, fair. Um, okay, I like that. But like, it's like that where it's like it's special. It's not like just yeah. a, a random dress in my closet or a random piece of jewelry in my closet. Yeah. It's like very special and like. I get it now because I think the dress thing was throwing me off, but I get it. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense to me. Yeah, I think that's the asshole then. Good. Um, I think, yeah, keepsakes, things like that. I think about that, but for some reason, the dress was throwing me. But I, I get what you're saying. Now. And it would also be different, I think, in the friend's mind, if she had worn the dress quite a few times, you know, like she had her, you know, her party in it. She like did, you know, did her thing in it. Like she's already like had the use out of it. Yes. And like. Got her. Got her. Yeah. And yeah, the guy was day. like, oh, you look so pretty in the dress I got you. And he already had all that use out of it. But like she didn't ever get to wear it. Love it. Okay. We're going to try. We're going to try another one out. Okay. Ready? Am I the asshole for canceling a trip to Jordan? And making my friends lose money. Jordan's in Egypt. Jordan is uh pff, shit south, is it, um, Africa, mm-hmm. I believe. Let me check. I'm not I'm not known for my geography. Facts. Eh, same. Knowledge. Oh, it's in the Middle East. Let's go. Yeah, so north. So, east bank of the Jordan River. Um, it's near Egypt. You're goddamn right. Hell yeah. It's like, okay, yeah, it's just east of Africa. So you win. I win. I lose. All right, continue. Okay, am I the asshole for canceling a trip to Jordan make my friends lose money? Throwaway account, a few months ago I booked a trip to Jordan with three of my friends. The flights were $500 each, non-refundable. And the package of accommodation, activities, etc., was $2,000 each, which was fully re- refundable. The thing is, if I canceled the holiday package, we would all get our money back, but they can't rebook it as the company's not taking new bookings at the moment. I can't cancel only my part of the package either, so they'd be losing the flight cost and have to change their holiday plans. Oh. With the current global situation, I've thought hard about it. I'm convinced it's not a good idea. We could always go some other time. I wouldn't feel safe going, especially since I'm a young white woman. They're all guys, and they don't see any issue going there. The war is in another country, they say. By the way, Jordan's like just east of Israel, Mm -hmm. having just seen it on the map. Yes. They claim it's not dangerous at all. Aside from their obvious indifference for what's happening in the world, I believe our safety is more important than a holiday. In the end, I contacted the agency, canceled the trip. They were very mad at me, have asked me to cover their flight expenses. Am I the asshole? Well... Ugh, that's a tough one because like I think you're the asshole. Yeah, I like think so. You could just have sacrificed your own trip and then correct. Like like ooh, that's a wash. Like I am not going to get refunded on correct. that. But instead, now you've you cost them money. You time. ruined their vacation and you cost the money. So yeah, cover their expenses or you're the asshole. I agree. I mean, I'm all for doing like what you feel emotionally. Like if you're like ooh, I don't think I'm going to be safe. Maybe you won't be safe. So like, yeah, maybe it was right for you to drop out, but to cancel all of their plans too is like, that's pretty assholey. It's, it, I think regardless of anything geopolitical or anything, right? Yeah. Just making the decision for everybody makes you the asshole. Yeah. It's With, like when- Without a quorum. We had a trip planned to Mexico, a girl's trip. Um, and it was like during the times where all those cartel shootings were happening. And so I was getting pretty worried about that. Um, I ended up going, but like yeah, I was fine. borderline, like I was pretty scared. But that would be like me canceling all of their trip to Mexico too because I that, felt unsafe. Yeah, and you just like informing them of how unsafe you felt. Yeah, and how you made this decision for them too. Yeah, but like that's fucked up. That's fucked up. And then even in her, you know, her commentary, she's like, "They don't think it's that serious," but it's like. You're deciding for everybody, obviously. Yeah. Like clearly, you just think you know better than everybody else. And yeah, that's that makes you the asshole. I think. I agree. Thank God. So far, everybody's three for three assholes today. I, I think so. And when we come back, I'm going to ask if you're the asshole for leaving a wedding before the reception. When we return 
on shit they don't tell you. Also, nothing helps the show more than checking us out on Patreon. Patreon.com slash sticky. Um, yeah. It helps pay for Mark. Damn right. And we have really cool shit over there. The show a day early. Steve has Crypto Corner where he goes through all of your crypto questions for like two hours, three hours. Yep. Sometimes like all hours, night. Hours, yeah. Every single week. Um, we have live streams once a month. And we have an awesome Discord community. The best community of so all time. So check it out. But mostly it just helps the show. So Big time. Patreon.com slash Sticky, S-T-I-K-K-I. Check it out if you want. It's probably like less than a cup of coffee a week. but Definitely. Uh, Definitely less Coffee's than Starbucks. Coffee's really fucking expensive right now. Yes, sir. Not, 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 uh, not our Patreon. So we'll be right back. Hey, thanks for listening to our podcast. We just want to take a break to tell you to like, thanks for listening to our podcast. And if you want to rate it, that would be really awesome for us. Like, Listen, we're on break. We're not talking to you like podcast hosts right now. We're just talking to you like people. As a friend. And we just want to say, please rate the show because it helps out a huge amounts. Like we're not desperate. We're like kind of desperate. We're giving shout outs right now to all the people who are giving it ratings. So Huge shout out right now to Brian Jorgensen. That was sick of you, dude. Thank you. God bless. Uh, huge shout out right now to Mark. Mark W. in Springfield, Connecticut. Back to our podcast. Jenny Blight. Hey, back to our podcast. In Tuscany, and Florida. back to our podcast. God bless you. Thank you. Steven. Huge. Thank you for supporting the show. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. So, Nikki. Yes. Am I the asshole for leaving a wedding before the reception? I don't think so, but go on. Okay, well, I kind of clickbaited that because the post got deleted. Oh. But. I think the ceremony is the like, important part. I think it'd be more assholey to skip the ceremony and just go to the reception. Just to give you an idea of what they talked about, and maybe this is interesting to you, it was a very close family member, and skipping out of the reception was a hard choice they had to make. Uh, ah, we'll just move on. We'll move on. Mm-hmm. I clickbaited you. I'm sorry. I, I totally clickbaited you. It's okay. I just think that like it'd be more assholey to skip the ceremony love part and then just be there for the party. But that's me. Honestly, this was a good one. I wish I screenshotted it. I yeah. should have. Now I know how to do that because they deleted it. Damn. They couldn't take the pressure. Couldn't handle. People, people kept calling him an asshole. Oh, shit. Terrible. I can't see why. Uh, <laughs> okay. Am I the asshole for telling my husband that I hate our house? Hmm. So... My husband bought our house in 2018 before prices skyrocketed. It's just a little suburban ranch home with a backyard, perfect for a single family. He bought the house before we met, in case you were going to call me a sexist or something. All right, so now you know. Okay. So now... So he bought it in 2018. I didn't have any input into the house at all. He bought a fixer-upper for around $80,000 when other similar houses were around $120,000. His house had no AC, needed work. There was a hole in the kitchen counter, for example. Okay. Obvious poor patchwork on the walls, wall-to-wall carpet <coughs> that covers like asbestos, <coughs> tile floors, etc. Since I moved in 2019, only more issues have cropped up, like the ceiling in the garage collapsed because of the humidity affecting the drywall, and we even have an internal wall that now moves if you shake it. Oof. It doesn't sound fire safe. It doesn't sound approved. It sounds like a deal. Yeah. <laughs> After I moved in, I was able to motivate him into some things. We installed AC, removed the carpet, and asbestos tiles. We now have LVP instead of carpet. I believe that's like lin- linoleum. linoleum. Um, instead of carpet that smells like urine. We had our first child in 2021, and since then, nothing has gotten fixed. I keep bringing up how things need to get done. He gets irritated about it. He apologizes for how things are. But con- things continue to not be done. I'm his wife. I'm not the owner. My name's not on the deed. And frankly, I don't want to be. I didn't contribute towards the purchase of the house. I don't think I'm entitled to it in any way. We now have two kids. Nothing here is changing. Twice in the past month, we've talked about this. I'm starting to feel like a nag. I finally admitted to him that I really resent living here. I didn't pick this house. I hate living in this fixer-upper that's never been fixed. And while I want things to change, I'm getting tired of being the only one who wants things to get done. I don't expect things to be done immediately. I never have. But he refuses to make plans, and I'm getting really tired of it. His argument is time and money. But the man refuses to even look at the, into the things that and make a budget. We aren't hurting for money. We're firmly middle class. We have savings. I'm not able to access our finances. I currently don't work 
as daycare for two in our area would be more expensive than my income and we don't have family able to help with the kids. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's happened to a lot of people right now. Yeah, he's currently angrily cleaning the kitchen because I brought it up again today that we shouldn't have a hole in the counter for over six years. I don't even know what he's cleaning if there's a hole in the counter. Yeah. What, what can he clean? She said, edit to add, in terms of finances, it isn't an abuse scenario. I have access to all bank statements. They come in the mail monthly. I'm just not on set accounts because I have premarital debt. I'm behind on payments. and They could take from any accounts my name is on, so I didn't get added to any of his stuff because of my debt. I do have a credit card linked to his account that I use. Is she the asshole? No. I don't think so either. Yeah. I think that like, safety and living conditions are like super important Pretty reasonable yeah especially with two kids it's i extremely think extremely well reasoned i get personally very affected by my environment so i may be a little biased because like it severely destroys my uh emotional well-being to not yeah. be to not have like a home that feels like a home where i feel like safe and it's clean and it's nice mm -hmm. and i've been like this ever since i moved out of my parents house too like i always just needed like from my first apartment i needed it to feel like a home even if it wasn't a home uh i needed like there to be really clean towels and like yeah. silverware and a, a pot set and everything that i had at home i just needed it to feel like I, 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 I'm at home, not like in a house, but I'm at home. Um, and it doesn't sound like this place feels like a home to her. No. And it doesn't feel safe either. If a wall moves when you sh shake it, like a kid could do, could shake it then. If a ceiling collapsed in their garage or whatever because of the humidity, I would not feel safe having kids there. I also don't think that adding her to the to the deed would make her feel more at home either. It sounds like she's really practical about her complaints. Yeah, I think that it's like he has to do it because he's the owner. Yeah. And he controls the finances and stuff. But yeah, like it sounds like he keeps saying, oh, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. And then he doesn't get to it. And that's annoying. Okay, so let me, let me push back a little bit. I thought this was interesting. Okay. Somebody says, why are you incapable of doing any of this? And then someone responds to that and says, gender's reversed and the sub would certainly be bringing out its favorite term, ready for this? Weaponized incompetence. What is she supposed to do? Well, she has complaints. Why isn't she fixing any of it? That's what this person's arguing. Like, I don't think that you could fix a, a collapsed ceiling. I think you that- You don't think I could do it? No. You don't think I could fix that? I think we would both want to hire a contractor yeah, yeah, to true. do it right. Like, what the fuck are they even talking about? Also, like, she's not doing nothing. She's- like taking care of two kids is like one of the hardest things ever especially if they're both toddlers that's a full-time thing like you can't take their your eye off them for a second and so what she's gonna be fucking <laughs> building walls while she's like fucking yeah, it's a doozy. breastfeeding and uh, watch, uh, running around with a toddler what, what are you really thinking sometimes i think the commenters are brain dead I don't think they have a lot of life experience. Yeah. I think they judge a lot of things. Like, oh, I could build a wall. Why can't you build the wall? Like, oh, yeah. oh, is it because you're a girl? Or, hey, well, that's sexist. Did, no, did no. Did you see this link? This is how you build the wall. And then it's like, okay, fine. No, you just weaponize incompetence. You didn't even look for the link. It's like, okay, It's everyone's dude. favorite new term. It is, like, actually. Shut the fuck up. Actually, I don't want to learn how to build it because I can hire a contractor. We have the money to, and I don't have the energy because I'm watching two kids. Do you not? Yeah. How how come you aren't watching two kids right now? Like, what's fucking weaponized incompetence? I agree. It's so annoying. I know. Commenters piss me off sometimes. Same. <laughs> like that's why it's good content. Like, use your fucking head. Yeah. No, it's not because she's a woman. It's because why? <laughs> it's because <laughs> why would she have to do that ever? <laughs> like, it's like saying like. Oh, why can't why why don't you uh like when we had to hire people to fix the eaves uh, over there like yes. why why don't you get on a 24 foot ladder and um fix the eaves uh because i don't have expertise in that area yeah i don't know how to do and it. also i'm busy like that's the whole point and other people do that for a job and i can pay them yeah and these cats were like sandblasting wood chips i don't know 
Three million wood chips were in our yard. If she falls off that ladder uh, and, and gets it. injured, who the fuck's gonna watch those kids? Good point. Good point. What are people thinking? Well, it's weaponizing competence. They're weaponizing incompetence in the comments. Like, are you that <laughs> in fucking competent? <laughs> I feel attacked by how incompetent that is. Okay, I got one for the season. This is for okay, the season. Tis okay, it is the season. So it is now the Halloween season. It's the Halloween season. And people like to play what they call tricks or treats. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a cousin, 16 female. Am I the asshole for not replacing my cousin's gift card after I played a trick on her? So, um,. My cousin's name, M. M had said she thinks getting clothes or school supplies as gifts is terrible. Everyone in our family knows not to buy her anything like this. Her 16th birthday is coming up, and I decided to give her a $300 Sephora gift card. Unfortunately, the store said to pick an amount between $10 and $250. So I got one $50 card and one $250 card. I bought a pair of cute fuzzy socks and put the $250 card in it. And I put that in a cute gift box and I placed the $50 gift card on top. Her party was just for her friends, so I dropped off her present a week before the party. A few weeks after the party, my aunt called me to chat about something. I asked if M liked my gift and my aunt says she did. I started to say things like she can get a whole new skincare routine and my aunt said $50 would not buy that much. I laughed and told her about the other gift card in the sock. She was surprised and thanked me for my generosity. I got a call from her a few hours later saying M gave the socks to her sister, a 13-year-old. And the, this cousin is 16 years old. Mm -hmm. So she gave it to her younger sister. So the younger sister used the gift card to buy stuff. Oh, what the fuck? What a bitch. She, she had other gift cards and her mom thought she was using those. My aunt said the money was gone and she was going <gasps> to ground the younger sister and ask me to replace the card. What? No. She said to not get the younger sister anything for her upcoming birthday. I only gave the older sister two gift cards since it was her 16th birthday. Normally I give $50 gifts. I told yeah. her no. I can't afford it. Of course. She said I had to or it would ruin the girl's relationship. What the hell? No, she doesn't have the to. The older sister found out about the gift card and is angry at the younger sister. Well, that's fair. Yeah. I refused and said this whole situation is my fault for playing a stupid joke. If I didn't replace the card, I would ruin the girl's relationship that's and so my relationship with them. I told her she could replace it herself and she called me an asshole. First of all, the younger sister's the asshole. Secondly, the Clearly. girl didn't even know about this gift card because she hates socks so much. So, like, if the if this OP hadn't called and, like, told the aunt or the mom about it, like, they wouldn't even know. That is the other thing, too. There is a lesson in this that I think is getting missed. You know how you get a card from somebody and you, like, shake it and you don't even read the card? So, <laughs> when you're a kid, right? Yeah. You're a shitty little kid. You do that shit. I think that's a good lesson. Like, yeah. hey, you know, look at this shit. Don't look before you leap, right? Like, look at this thing. Well, there's a chicken soup for the soul Appreciate story it. that I read when I was little and, or actually my mom read it to me when I was little and I'll never forget it. It okay. like shook me to my core and that's why I, I never acted that way. Um, So the story was about this dad and the son and the son, all he wanted was a car for his 18th birthday. Uh, or maybe it was for graduation. I can't remember which. But, um, you know, the dad, I don't know, they, they had a kind of a strained relationship or something. Anyway, point being, the dad gave him a Bible for his 18th birthday. Yeah. And the son got so mad, he, um, like, threw the Bible back at him or whatever. And, or I don't remember, he took it or whatever. But anyway, years later, after the dad died, he opened the Bible to like, just he was thinking about the father and there was a check for the amount that the car would cost, but he never talked to his dad again after that. So he never. Oh man. That's yeah, a good one. That's he cut, a good he one. He cut his dad off. That's a good one. Yeah. And uh, that shook me to one. my fucking core when I was like 10 years old. And I'll never forget that. It's a really good one. So I'm always just like, one, I'm super thankful, but also I'm gonna shake every fucking gift of you. Damn right. You told me you didn't give me that thing that you said. Damn right, shake it <laughs> up and shake down. that Bible. <laughs> shake it up and down. You yeah. know, I'm, <laughs> that reminds me of 
this Christmas. I'm not a person who asks for things that I want or whatever, but there was a Christmas where me and Nikki were like, it was like early in our relationship. And she's like, tell me what you want. I, I want a fucking iPad. What do you want? And I was like, she's like, I want a fucking iPad. Give me an iPad. It was an iPhone 5. No, no, no. This was the iPad. No. Wait. I had an iPad from Michael Gallagher. No, but you wanted one. And I may, I had to get one for you. This is that year. And What? Yes. You wanted an iPad. You wanted a new iPad. An iPad Pro? Yes. A I, thought new I, iPad the, Pro. I thought that bought that. No, I bought it. Oh. Okay. So she's like, I want a fucking iPad. You, so what do you want? And I was like, all right. I want uh, a, 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 a Peyton Manning autograph. Okay. Yeah. I didn't. I don't remember you getting me that iPad, but I guess you did. I did. I bought it, bitch. Huh. Deal with it. I remember. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, fantastic. I assigned it. I assigned it to you, so I was already mine in my head. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You knew I was. You knew yeah, I yeah. it. So then Christmas Day comes or whatever, and it's only because I got her on that iPad like it was nothing. I didn't even think about it. Yeah. And then Christmas comes, and then like the day goes, and like. Nikki shows up because she goes to her place and she went to my place. That was like their old tradition or whatever. Yeah. And then like she's there and then like I don't get the Peyton Manning thing. And I was like, oh, I'm not getting the What Peyton did Manning. I get you? In, or like what you did got I get? me something else instead. It was like something. Oh, I think it was like some pajama. Some Batman, pajama, Batman pajamas. Batman pajama set or something. <laughs> it, was, it was funny and I laughed. Yeah. And like, what did you think? I was going to use the Peyton Manning thing. I was like, haha, that's stupid. Yeah, I shouldn't get it. Shouldn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know. In her trunk, she had it. I was like, can you go get something? Yeah, I think yeah, I yeah. asked you she to go like, get something yeah, out of the yeah, trunk yeah. or she, something. She totally goosed me. Yeah. Goosed me good. <laughs> but yeah, before that, I was like kind of sad. I was like, oh, I was like excited Aww. about this. And I was kind of sad. I was, good. Yeah, I, I know. You got me good. <laughs> but I was like kind of sad. Only because like, I was like, oh, I love her. I got her what she wanted. Right? <laughs> you know, she didn't, give me what I, she didn't give me what I wanted. Why did she ask me if she wasn't going to get it, right? Yeah. Um. But I like the that I like, was fun. I like the tricks. I like yeah. all that stuff. Fun I mean, tricks. It's fun stuff. But this is like it's not yeah. on you. I think that it's you know, people that take it with stride or get rewarded because they're like yeah. they're not taking it so seriously. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, and then it's like an extra it's like a plot twist, you know? Right. But for this girl, she's like, I hate clothes so much how dare my aunt get me clothes and socks here you take them stupid li your little sister well that's why the little sister sucks the most yeah because y you were gifted something from your older sister and like yes it is socks so everyone thinks socks sucks how do you spend 250 dollars on that's makeup the thing. a gift from your older sister turns into you getting like hundreds of dollars no conscience yeah. nothing yeah no that, that little sister's a shit yeah, a little shit for sure and no, OP is not an asshole, and no. the also the mom's an asshole for making it seem like it's OP's fault that she has to like get another gift card of two hundred fifty dollars. The mom needs to buy it then. OP's only crime is that he thought someone checked socks. Nobody checks socks. The, the mom needs to buy it. Yeah, I agree. Mom's an asshole too. But but why would you need to buy it? Who are you making whole? Oh yeah, exactly. Because everyone fucked up. I mean, yeah, but like. If like, she really thinks that the wrong needs to be righted, oh, right, yeah, true. then she needs to buy it. Like, how d demand another 250 This is already a generous it's insane gift. insane to me. The fact that your daughter's And your daughter, it. like, bought a bunch of shit. Yeah, it's, that's not on no. the what gifter. The Give, first of all, take all the stuff the little daughter bought, the little kid bought. Give it to the older sister. Yeah. All of that, no matter all what. All of it, yeah. And then, yeah, figure it out from there. She's got to resell shit on eBay or whatever to get her money back. Go for it. But you have to earn it back. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. It's like there's no value. Right? Yeah. And 16 is a big one. It's a big one. That's big, why big, she got one. $300 and not $50. That's what I'm saying. Okay. This is a doozy. Okay. At least there was a non-asshole finally. I know. Would I be the asshole if I said I had a problem with my fiance adding a ring enhancer to the engagement ring I just gave her? Uh, uh. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Last week, I celebrated my two-year anniversary with my then-girlfriend. I really went all out to make it an amazing weekend. Get away. Finishing all off with a surprise proposal at the very end. Got her a beautiful ring. Simple, classic style. Smaller diamonds running down the face of the band with a one-carat diamond sitting on top. Ooh. Sounds like my ring. It does. It also came as a set with a matching wedding band that really makes the whole thing look amazing. It pops. 
basically worked two full-time jobs for months to be able to save up and buy this for her along with the rest of the weekend plans. The proposal went great. She was completely surprised. I even had a photographer lined up to be there inconspicuously to capture the moment. I should have done that. Yeah. I am the asshole. The one regret. I'm, I am the asshole. All week long after, she said how much everyone is telling her they love the ring and giving me kudos in the selection. Nice. Etc. I did not have much, much to go off for figuring out her style, right? Um, she's not huge in wearing jewelry. Gave me some anxiety regarding like what's she going to like. But hearing that made me feel a lot better. The ring size was a tad bit big, so we planned for her to get it resized sometime this next coming up week. Fast forward today. She goes to church with her mom and is taking her and her daughter to a museum while I'm at work. While at her mom's house, suddenly she texts me saying she might not need to have her ring resized after all because her mom just gave her a nice ring holder to keep it in place and sends me a picture of this ring guard slash enhancer that is admittedly very nice, but it almost swallows up her whole ring finger and completely changes the entire appearance of the ring I just gave her. Mm. I told her I didn't think this was going to work. After we add the wedding band to the ring, which she replied she thinks she can, it could be split further apart to make that space. She, so does this make sense to you? It's like the wedding band once added. Yeah. To this entire apparatus. It's a. It just looks completely different. It's a like it goes around. It like would go around this like the, here. Yeah. It would go around Correct. it to hold it. Correct. She then tells me if I don't like it, she didn't have to wear it. But in the same text, she says she really loves it and mentions this ring holder her mom is giving her is $3,000. Oh, my gosh. So it's quite a nice gift. Well, not it's not the monetary value that matters here, OP says, but that I just spent shy of ten grand on her engagement ring slash wedding band and diamond set. So I'm a little offended she even feels the need to add the enhancer to it which I'm still not positive will accommodate the wedding band after that is added after the wedding. And I just don't like the fact that a wedding slash engagement ring is meant to be from me and she wants to add more to it from someone else, even if it's her mom. I agree with that part. To me, the enhancer is so big, it completely swallows and hides the ring itself. I don't get what this enhancer looks like. I don't either. Am I the asshole for feeling like this? Should I? I'll show you in a second. Um, should I pretend it doesn't bother me and hope I get used to it? Blah, blah, blah. Am I the asshole? And then here are pictures of it that I will send to Mark. By the way, I think that it's exactly the way that Nikki's ring looks. Yeah, it like does. Precisely. Yeah, the way he described it, it was like, yeah, that um, sounds like my ring. But then I guess, you know, you need an enhancer. You probably didn't. Well, let me check out this enhancer. You, you probably see, never see told up, me. See what's up with that. Oh, I mean, this is not an enhancer to me. That's like nuts. Holy shit. That looks terrible. Yeah, well, it doesn't look terrible. It's just a different, completely different style. Oh, I think it looks terrible. I mean, it doesn't. I it's not my style, but like, I I don't think it looks terrible. It's like people have this style of ring, and like, but I but I agree. It it completely changes the ring. It changes everything. I I would be offended if I was the OP too. That's like banana balls. Yeah. Well, I we have a friend that had a ring like that. Who? I'm not going to say right now. You want to say their name in no. first and last and their address? You want to dox them like Sniper Wolf did to our friend Jack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's to me. Yeah, nuts. that's completely. That's nuts. It's very did ostentatious. You, you're ca- Not to presume too hard, but you're kind of making the moment about you. Uh, I don't even think it's. Well, you mean the OP? No, no, the mom. Oh, yeah, the mom, for the mom. sure. The mom. The mom is like dominating yeah, the presence of the ring. But also, like, I don't know, maybe I'm just a sentimental fuck, but I wouldn't want something that my hus- my fiance didn't give me. Like, I wouldn't yeah. want it to be like from my mom to like, yeah, now when I look at my ring, I, I think about my mom. Right. I'm not thinking about my fiance. And it's not just my mom, but my mom's like straddling the ring. Yeah, and I, both feel, I feel like, yeah, she's getting caught up in the diamond aspect and the expenses, expenses aspect, exactly. but it looks completely different. And yeah, I, I agree. I would feel a little offended that I just gave such a, re- like an expensive gift, like the biggest, yeah, probably the most expensive thing he's ever given anyone. How do you not feel offended? I would definitely feel offended. It's so much work. And, and like you said, two months of It'd my life It'd be different if it was like 
a 10 year anniversary and she's like hey i'm thinking about like what if we get a like enhancer or like a re-up or like what if we like enhance it and then you guys pick it out together yeah, that, that is different you know that's that like different. a different thing but this is this like is right after being proposed to exciting thing yeah i i don't like it i don't think the op is an asshole at all but no. i don't know how you fix that situation because sometimes you get unlucky with in-laws dude you get yeah a, you get a bad draw with in-laws dude sometimes yeah because that definitely feels like the mom just smearing her shit all over that's it. it she's wiping all over the whole mess just yeah. to make sure her presence is known you know yeah whatever like oh my daughter had a nice thing now it's gonna be i about can make me. it better yeah it's about me yeah why does it need an enhancer that's, I don't know. that's the most insulting part of it, I think. It's a like a. You guys spent ten G's. I on know. It. It's like a traditional thing. Like it's not like, it's like not modern. It's it's what they used to do. Yeah. Like they people used to do it a lot. Now I feel like modern rich people they just like get bigger and bigger diamonds. True. They just like get just like change it and make it bigger. I just like minimalism more. Yeah. And I like the simplicity of that. Yeah. And, um, but it's not even like tiny. It's like, oh, it's not tiny. You know, it's like, <laughs> I think it's the perfect size, especially my fingers are really thin. There. And I just, thank like, God. I mean, this, would cost this me a is fortune. huge. This other ring that I have on. Yeah. And like, I can't imagine a diamond being that big. That's like, no. your ring didn't even cost insane. me 600 bucks. <laughs> Shut up. It was awesome. I wow. love deals. Can't believe you had to make payments on something less than six hundred. Oh well, I get the deals, those, baby. Those payments came in every month <laughs> for like a year and a half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, yeah, you know well, how it is. Got to do what you got to do. You know how it is, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is. Uh, that's all the time we have for today. All right. Well, does Reddit think that that OP is an asshole? Nah. Everyone, yeah. Everyone thinks that the mom's. Uh, yeah. Big, but I, that, I'm glad to stand shoulder to shoulder with Reddit on on a couple things. Shoulder to shoulder with who? With Reddit on a couple, yeah. on a couple of things. Yeah, it just it and also seemed I feel bad for the daughter getting swept up in the mom's like vanity. Vanity. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree with that. All right. Well, let us know what you thought. If you think anyone's an asshole that we didn't, or if you think they're not an asshole, and I thought all of the first three were assholes, but apparently Reddit disagreed with me. So Same. you know, you may have differing opinions. Let us know in the comments. But um, yeah, I think this is a good a good amount good of debate. Good de debate. Good, a, lot, a lot of good debate. Yeah. So uh, about that ring enhancer, though, you think that no, maybe no, 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 no. Should, we should get, we're coming up, I mean, we just hit 10 years. You didn't even get me anything for our anniversary, so it's like, maybe we should go like. You know what I got you for our anniversary? An iPad? Years ago. Was awesome. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you give me for our anniversary? We don't do gifts, folks. We, it's These a, it's nuts. Not, it's not a love language. Let's go. Um, but we will see you guys on the next one. And we love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.